Hello, Americans. Kind of aiming down, ain't you? Little friends, subscribers around the world. Back here, man. Down here is the creek bottom. You know, and if you watch my other videos, you'll see the creeks are rising. You just don't know what to do. Just go whittle some. See, look at that, man. Thanks, Ron Ray. See, the old set I use them. Use them all the time. This one, I love this one so much. But, uh, cut the, um, cut this dogwood. This one just kitty's, uh, new walking stick or other ones. About wore out from sitting out in the sitting out in the weather and back of the truck and all that. So I'm gonna cover carver another one. And if you've watched my videos for quite a while, you know I do the used to make them and sell quite a few of them. I used to sell a lot of them at the flea markets, swap meets, and rendezvous and all that kind of stuff, powwows and stuff. But carve the uh, used to carve the mountain spirits a little bit, and then. This one I'm carving a morel mushroom on the top of it, so I'll, uh, I'll show it later in a video. But, and just showing, you know, man, if you ain't got nothing to do, well, you got somewhere you can go sit outside, or it's cold outside. Miss Kitty really don't dig it, but I'll sit in my chair in there by the front of the fireplace and whittle. Just throw down a piece of canvas or something, man. I love me some whittle. Gives you some some uh, time to think. I think we all got a lot of time to think right now. Let's go. Uh, I'll get back at this. But let's go over and uh, got a little story to tell you. Yesterday, you know, what's next, man? Let's just go over here. Last night, well, with all this hermit order and all this going on, you know, it's coming out last night, out that door, and I step out right about here, man, and everything's rattling, and I don't know if you can see it right here, but I got that old sink base, I need to pick out the salvage area, you know, and the pile of junk that I'm going through, and that barbecue and stuff over there and step out and man it's just going brrr, and the, the wind is blowing man it was cloudy man that's the first time i've seen the sun here comes the sun but uh man that's rattling stuff you know and i'm looking around i'm thinking dang man that uh that's some weird wind and then i hear stuff in the shop behind you there man i hear stuff falling Man, I start thinking, and all of a sudden I think, dude, I think we're having an earthquake. Man, I look up like this, dude, and the trees are like rocking like this. I'm like, dude, I better get the hell out of here. And as I took off, it went in the cabin. As I come through the door of the cabin, Miss Kitty's in the bag, in a recliner, and uh, I come through, and I'm like... I think, and she's all, earthquake, man, and uh, 
So I go in, you know, and it's stopped by this point, but I step it up in the bag, and Miss Kitty, um, she was in San Francisco in that big one, you know, when the, the bridge collapsed on people, you know, I mean, what was it, 88 or 89? But she was in that earthquake, and as I went up into the bag, man, she had tears in her eyes and just had this horrified, man, I felt so bad. Man, I wish I'd been right sitting next to her. But she said that uh, she was sitting there in the recliner, you know, watching her show. And um, she could see, you know, in the Vagabond, you know, it's an old park model trailer, 49 Vagabond that we live in. And she said that she she's looking back and Kai's laying there on the floor. And she can see the whole back of the, the Vagabond shaking. And she thought I was messing with her. And she said she was thinking... How the heck can he move this whole, because it's on pier blocks, man. She's all, how the heck can he move this whole trailer? And she said she's watched it like a like a wave coming down, the whole thing. And she said it got to, you know, came up from the bedroom and up like this, shaking. And Kai looks up like this, and he's looking around like he thought it was a cat or something on the roof. And as it goes by him, he gets up, jumps, and just jumps into her lap. And then she says it just shakes and she just sat there like this, man, just scared the holy bejeebers out of her. But nothing, I haven't heard of nothing. It actually hit between, uh, um, you know, their main spot. It was a, um, I think it was a 6.5. I can't remember if it was a 6.5 or 7. I think it was a 6.5. And, uh, but it hit between about halfway between Chalice, Idaho, and ha halfway between Cascade, Idaho, out in the boonies there, man. It was, it was crazy. Man, the first thing I thought is, oh, my Lord, what is next, man? Holy crap, is the dang volcano going to blow in Yellowstone? If that does, we're all done. So crazy, man. These days, it just never, it's just never ending, man. So today, she just asked, Miss Kitty just asked me, what's your plans for today? First of all, soak up. It's not supposed to get very warm today, man, but we've had rain, snow mix, cold, uh, very cold this morning, man, ice and frost and all that. It's supposed to be cold for the next week, you know, and being under the permit order and stuff, it's, um, she says, what you going, what, what are you going to do today? And I'm all, I don't know, I don't quite know what I'm going to do today. You know, things are, my usual routine, if I have any kind of a routine, is uh, just a lot different. She said we're just going to have to figure out something else, so, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to just go dig through some junk and maybe do a little gold panning. I really don't know what I'm going to do today. How are all you guys out there, man? I hope you're all doing, uh, hanging in there and doing all right, dude. This is some... This is some crazy times we got going on here. So that's so that's my plan for today. But I just wanted to, you know, we want to get on here and do a little bit of something, hopefully to film something more exciting. I wanted to go do a little rock hounding today, but Kevin D got his his toe cut on yesterday. So a uh, little minor surgery thing, man. He's all freaked out going into the doctor's office man I would be too don't take a shower in that that stuff man and thank you to all the, the health and care workers and doctors and nurses and oh, man this is some crazy times I can't even concept it but we're gonna find us something to do I try to take you along and film a little bit of it but for right now man you guys all hang in there man our thoughts and prayers are with the whole world very scary times and ain't tough man we still got a long ways to go but we'll get through it please remember to like subscribe and share it helps keep the lights on the home fires burning the propane tanks full check out the links below it's a great way to support the homestead we appreciate that still been selling check out the ebay store been still been selling a few things had a pretty good day yesterday and this morning starting off all right, and I'll be putting some more stuff on. Look at that, man. Good Lord willing. And the cricks are rising. Man, they were, they're rising 
And they were up quite a bit the day before yesterday, and then this morning they're up more too. Kind of went down and see if it's starting to breach yet, but we shall see. But uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.